Thanks, Marley. It's so good to be here. The I... last time we saw you was not your first time on the show. Yeah, so Lady Gregory's, uh, we did the ultimate grilled cheese that we're going to do today. And then we saw you at Wild to do the chicken pot pie. We also have Octavio in Andersonville. And I hear that may be rebranding. Yeah, we're launching it as the birdcage. Our whole concept is really just about being inclusive, about loving one another, about body positivity, all ethnicities, gender-free expression, creating a space that is including all of that and our straight allies, just having a good time and, and celebrating life. I'm going to ask you to talk a little bit about what you've been doing for the community during the pandemic. So we partnered up pretty early on with the Lakeview Pantry. We broadened what we were doing to start feeding the LGBT uh, Senior Center at Addison and Halstead. And then we added the crib. It's run by the Knight Ministry at our homeless youth. It kind of made going through this feel much better. What services are we offering for customers right now? All three restaurants are open for outdoor dining. Uh, takeout, we started our own delivery. I appreciate it. The Irish hospitality never ceases at any of your restaurants. So the ultimate grilled cheese, whole bowl load of different cheeses. Do you think we give it a go? Yes, let's do it. All right. Pan. This is Parmesan buttered bread. I'm gonna put this butter side down. Irish white cheddar. Uh, the Gruyere and some brie. I'm not hearing any sizzling, Marley. There is some sizzling happening right now, I swear. Some mozzarella. I think Chef probably moves a little faster than I do. <laughs> is that the candied bacon? Oh my God, you gotta try a little of that while you're doing it. Oh, you won't have to ask me twice. Plenty of that on there. Little bit in here. Tomato concasse. The tomatoes are roasted and then uh, they're peeled, seeded, and diced. And our last final ingredient fried shallots. They add a nice little bit of crunch. <laughs> I really piled this high. In my world, just keep piling it on. It's looking golden. Okay. okay. Go golden is a good word. Is the cheese melting down? It is. It definitely is. Okay, we have a nice sizzle going. You hear that? Yeah. It smells great. Yeah, fold it over and close it up. No, come back. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From here, that sandwich looks pretty good, I'll tell you. I mean, I'm not chef, but I'm feeling good about this. Check out this beauty. <laughs> you stay true to the name, Marley. I'm proud of you. Is it is it ultimate enough? It's, it's looking pretty ultimate to me. I'm feeling really good about this. I have my beautiful grilled cheese, which comes with a delicious serving of French fries that Chef was kind enough to prepare for me, so I didn't have to. In the to-go container is this little Ziploc baggie, and it's Everclear, so it's alcohol by nature, but it says, wipe containers or squeeze into a shot glass. So you're also giving everyone just a nice free shot of Everclear if they need it. There wasn't sanitizer to be found, so we did what any restaurant owner would do. I'm gonna dig into this arguably the best looking thing I've ever cooked. That even sounds good from here, Marty. Seriously, you did good. The brie is what distinguishes this sandwich. It's almost like a, a pungent flavor, even though brie's not a pungent cheese, but you get so much cheese, but then you have that tomato that has that beautiful sugariness, and the shallots give it a little bit of extra crunch and spice, and my near-perfect bread also adds crunch. It's a whole lot going on in between two pieces of bread. My favorite part is the, the Parmesan that gets crispy on the outside, too. Oh. There's never enough cheese. There isn't. See, that's my life motto, Martin. There's never enough cheese. I'm gonna keep eating my delicious grilled cheese, but I would love if you could tell me what pride means to you, Martin. Well, coming here as a young man, uh, still in the closet, and you know, going through my coming out process here and stuff like that, it was it was a whole different time and a different world. Since then, I just have really grown to appreciate that things were tough for somebody my age growing up, but there were a lot of people that had it a lot tougher and that really paved the way for all the changes that I've seen. 
there's still a lot of work to do, but I really feel we've come so far. Just being able to celebrate who we are, no matter what we are, who we love, whatever our gender expression is, it's just very special. Well, today I celebrate you, I celebrate the community, I celebrate this grilled cheese, <laughs> and I celebrating being able to come out and eat in one of your restaurants very soon. Thanks, Marley. Thanks. It's been yep. great um, hanging with you this afternoon. Happy Pride. You too. Bye.